<coughs> Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Infinite Gamer. I will be your host for today's stream. So, uh, first of all, how's everyone doing, man? Awesome to uh, awesome to have you all back here, as usual. Um, and yeah, you'll be joining me on another journey through a galaxy. Although, my past few streams has been um, a journey for the galaxies to attempt to get all the way back to Euclid. But recently, I've been flicking through Twitter and... I've been seeing all of these hashtag love hello games um, and then like reasons as to why these various people who have uh, done these tweets um, their reasons as to why they love hello games and I've done one myself um, and I've seen quite a few people I know who have done them and it's made me realise that what I was doing by oh, sorry my camera's really annoying me give me over a bit um, yeah, but what it's made me realise is jumping through all these galaxies, all these 265 galaxies that have been created for us to explore, roam around, enjoy, uh, take screenshots, discover, and I'm here rushing through them, rushing through them to get back to Euclid. And... It's made me realise I don't want to do that. I, I want to explore these different galaxies and journey through them. Because I don't know what I'm missing out on. I don't know what I'm I'm jumping past and warping away from. So each episode I do, um, probably up until next comes out. And I might actually continue it after next as well, depending what changes with it. Um, is each episode... I'm going to jump to a new galaxy and we're going to explore it. So at the moment you're watching uh, number 20, 23, uh, galaxy number 23. Um, I have not explored this at all. Um, I literally just jumped to another galaxy on my freighter just so that I could get the name of the galaxy to find out what number it was. Because <laughs> I completely forgot. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to be exploring galaxy number 23 today, and then my next stream will be 24, and so on and so on. Um, so honestly guys, I, I hope you all enjoy this, and um, thank you so much for coming along, and it's awesome to have you here as usual. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get this ball rolling. Uh, I've got Fusion saying, doing good, still too hot there. Um, it is... Every morning I'm waking up before I go to work. And um, it's like really dark and cloudy and I'm like, oh, this is so nice. I, I'm loving this right now. But I could do with a bit of rain, a bit of cold, like I wouldn't say no to it. And then um, I get to work and the second I leave work, the sun is blazing, it is scorching hot and I'm sweating just walking back from work. It's very annoying because I'm coming here to sit down in the, uh, my little games room that I've got set up and I have two two screens and my computer pumping out heat and my PlayStation. So it gets very hot. Very, very hot. But it's all worth it to be here with you guys and to chill out and play No Man's Sky, man. I, I love doing this and I love you guys. And oh my god, I've just had a friggin' exotic land in my freighter. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't know if it's one that I've already got though. It very well could be. Oh god, yes, it's one I haven't got. Yay! What are the goddamn odds of that, man? Um. I oh, know, it is similar to one that I've got, but it's not exactly the same. I don't think. I don't know. No, that looks totally different. I'm, I want that. I'm having it. I bet you're going to be jealous now, Alpha, as well, because uh, it's a nice nice blue and black, and I know that you like blue and black. And uh, hello, Alpha, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good, man, like I was just saying, just a bit hot. Hot and bothered, but ah, well, I'll live. Um, uh, no, I just want to buy your ship. That is all I want to do. Um, S class. Full 20 slots, man. Oh, yes! That is so lucky. Fuck. Literally leave my uh, leave my freighter and I I get this man. That's awesome. Uh, negotiate price. 
you will give it to me for free. I know you want it. Um, oh, crap. Which one's which? Um, I just want to buy you, so I'm taking it. It's that one. Swear down if I end up losing my goddamn squid now, I'm going to, like, hit the roof. Okay, so, so you are now officially mine. Thank you very much. I will take you. And then... Yes, you're still mine. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, nice colour. I don't like that design, and like everyone, I'm a weirdo. Um, to be totally honest, it's not my uh, it's not my favourite design. I will admit. Um, but it's a different exotic, and I don't know. I, I do actually. I don't know. I do actually quite like that design. I'm lying to you there, Alpha. Lying straight to your face. I do quite like that. I don't know why. It reminds me of an angry bird. I find it rather amusing. But I do have another one that is um, very much, very much like that, uh, which is this one. And then I also have uh, my other one right behind that as well. <laughs> I've, uh, oh man, that's awesome! I've got four exotics now, all different, all different colours. I like it. Uh, the squid looks shit. Looks amazing though. I would love it in white. Yeah, I know. Um, I would totally love. I'd love a, a red and white, uh, red and white one. To be honest, I've seen one before and it looks really nice. And the yellow and black one looks really nice as well. I have to admit. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. I can't believe that. Um. I also want to just, I just want to do a little shout out to, uh, to Alpha Pixis, um, and to, uh, Hidden Panda, just for, um, just for boosting my confidence, if anything, man, like, I'm still new to this streaming, and I've been, well, I chat to Alpha quite a lot, and I've, um, I've recently been chatting to, uh, Hidden Panda as well, and the stuff that they've said about me and my channel and me as a streamer, it, it honestly, man, you guys have a place in my heart. Like, I thank you so much. Like, they're amazing guys. If you have not checked them out, make sure you do. Both of them are awesome streamers, man. They're awesome personalities and they're awesome people to get along with. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's. Ooh. Ooh, and I jumped to somewhere with a uh, with a black hole as well. Awesome! Didn't even know that. But yeah, let's uh, let's explore galaxy number twenty-three of it. I'm gonna see if I can line up my freighter. Uh, get a pretty cool shot. Uh, I really need to like invent some freaking machine that can like basically replace my hands when I'm having a fag so I'm so shit at multitasking. Um uh, future I can't wait to see some new ships we can buy and starving for oh I know mate. I seriously can't wait myself um myself to find some new ships and you know what let, let's screw it let's jump through this uh jump through this wormhole black hole and uh see where it takes us in this random ass galaxy yeah 
him to be a bit sweet -o. I would, um, I, I can't wait myself for some new ships. So, just a bit of new variety to it as well, man. Like, I look forward so much to it, really do. Uh, I, I just look forward to seeing what next is going to have for us, man. I know there, there, there's so much, uh, I'm sure so much hate going around at the moment because there's not been a next trailer yet and there wasn't one on the Xbox Insider. Um, I'm not going to dive into it in details. I've done a video and my opinions about it. So if you'd like to like to know my opinions, you can go onto my channel and check out the video. Um, but yeah, like I, I just, I honestly just can't wait to see what's in next and to see what they've got ready for us. Like, I look forward to it in so many ways. And it's perfect. I finished my job at half six. Um, my last day at my current job as well, half six on the 24th, which is amazing. Um, and then I'll have hopefully the rest of the week off to just blitz and play. Uh, blitz and play No Man's Sky next uh, and stream it with all you guys, man. I can't wait for it. Uh, oh, shook so much love today. Thanks, man. Oh, no, man, any time. Like... You've always been there for me, Alpha Man. You've always, you know, you've always made me feel welcome, and you've helped me out so much. So I really do appreciate that. And like, just some of the stuff I've been having said to me lately and said about me, it, it just, yeah, it's just amazing, man. This community is amazing, and you guys are amazing. Um, yeah, more ship variety, maybe custom colouring. Uh, yeah, that would be freaking awesome, man. But just being able to change the colours and have them the way that you want. Like, maybe I've got to go and find a blueprint to get the different colours. Just so it's not just as easy as getting a ship changing the colours, then. All the pieces have fallen into plate, Snada explains. Where well, wouldn't Snada stare at star charts? Now they see lines of code. There are connections and patterns everywhere. Perhaps I'll understand soon. Perhaps I'll see existence. As Nada sees it, I shiver as I say goodbye. <laughs> All she ever gives me now, bloody units, man. Uh, I want new stars, other colours, I want a flying saucer. A flying saucer would be pretty cool, man. Um, hey there, Tony316, man. How you doing? And welcome to my stream. You've jumped into the infinite loop. Um, yeah, well, I'm doing good, man. Like I say, just a bit, a bit freaking hot, man. I, I wish this heat would sort of go away. I'm not used to it, I'll tell you now. Polo and I treat each other as friends, trusted companions in our ongoing adventure among the stars. I know the Gek has a secret, but I trust that it will be shared with me in time. I wonder if that secret will ever be shared with us. But now, Polo encourages me to become the ultimate explorer, to push myself to the limit. There are places out there where none have survived, but perhaps I can succeed where others have failed. See, I still need to do this freaking extreme survival bit as well, man. Doing my bloody nothing. Um, well, let's, uh, might go on a little journey, actually, to, uh, to see if we can find an S-Class, uh, multi-tool. Um, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm gonna make that my main goal, but I would like an S-Class multi-tool. How's your galaxy journey going? Well, um, I did say at the start of this video, 
I've um, I've brought my galaxy jump in to get back to Euclid to an end. After seeing all these, um, after seeing all these hashtag love hello games and people's like various reasons as to why they love them and why they love No Man's Sky, I, it, it's it's just brought to my attention that I'm I'm quickly jumping and only seeing one or two planets in each galaxy, and these galaxies have been made for us to explore, not for us to rush through. Not for us to just spam our way through, and it's made me realise I want to journey through these galaxies, I want to explore these galaxies, I want to see all the different creatures, all the different planets and everything. I, I, just, I want to enjoy this beautiful game that is created for us and not rush through it. And it, that's what I feel like I've been doing by trying to get back to Euclid. So, I've decided to bring that to an end. And I hope that doesn't disappoint you guys. I know I'm a failure. Can't even make it back to Euclid. But this is feel like it feels like something I I just I just want to do. I just want to explore. Make some various screenshots and you know find some awesome looking ships like my beautiful squiddy ship here. Good old squishy. Uh, I was thinking, dangerous I know, <laughs> uh, when Alex Rises came out, we got actual screenshots only a couple of days before an exotic ship in the portals. Yeah, the, very true man, the same stuff could happen, you you don't know. Um, personally, I believe, uh, the, the main reason why I think there was no trailer on the Xbox Insider video is because Element 6 is a trailer, and they were just shouting out to the Xbox community and not to everybody. I believe that the trailer is going to be Element 6 and that it is going to be this weekend that we will get it at some point. Um, I don't know that for definite, so please don't quote me on that. That is just something that I, I kind of reckon. Um, and I really, really do hope it is, because I really would love to see a trailer, but in the same way, I'm not going to be disappointed if it isn't. I trust Hello Games, and I trust Sean Murray, and although they have extremely bad PR, <laughs> um, I feel like they've got something planned. I feel like they've, they've got it all set up, ready. They're just waiting, waiting for the right time to strike. Feel good watching this and chilling, having a tea and a smoke. Awesome man, I'm glad you you guys enjoy um, watching me just chilling. Thank you so much. Um, oh god, freaking aggressive sentinels. Why? Anything but aggressive sentinels. Ugh, how long? And I hear one right now. Quickly run! Oop. You little loser. You're not gonna attack me. Say great minds think alike <laughs> that they do. Well, it's your journey, infinite. How you do it is completely up to you, mate. Ah, yeah, that is true, man. Thank you so much for understanding. I just, I don't know. I just made me realise that I could be missing out on some amazing things. And um, and when I jumped into Law's stream the other day, Law of Evolution stream, because I know he's um, he's jumping for the galaxies as well. And he was saying that so many people have said to him, like, there's nothing different in the galaxies. And he himself has turned around and said, like, that he has seen, he has seen um, animals and plants and planets that he hasn't seen anywhere else. Like, back in the Euclid and that. So clearly it's not as... Uh, clearly it's... It does change slightly. 
even if it is ever so slightly. And I don't want to miss those changes. Although one thing that is annoying is I'm now going to have to try and repair all of my stuff. Actually, there isn't that much point. Not marrow, not yet. I thought that was a creature then for some bizarre reason. I'm confusing myself. Baby girl. Uh, uh, universal moderator. Hey boys, I just dropped by to say hi. I can't stay right now, so have fun. See you on another one. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Vedram, for dropping in, man. Even if it is just for a second, I appreciate that so much. My niece is here now, so we will watch a movie. Ah, oh, awesome, man. I hope you have a good night. Yeah, guys, who knows? We may see some amazing things on this journey. We, we might experience something that nobody else experienced before. Ooh, lots of glowing orbs. Do I dare? Take those glowing orbs of temptation. Oh god damn it, Sentinel, leave me alone! I didn't do anything to you. What do you mean? Oh crap, I haven't got my uh thingy freaking fixed here for my bolt caster. Quickly fix you. Seriously, dude, back away. Back away, I don't want to have to hurt you. Okay, yep, screw you. You're gonna die. Goodbye. Now, everybody saw I warned him first. It's his fault. And you. Thank you. Come on. Thank you very much. Hi, my veteran. Good day, and I hope you're studying as well. Yeah. yeah guys, I mean, 12 days, that's all we've got to wait for now, just another 12 days, 12 short days, soon fly by, before we know it, gotta be patient now. Be patient and we will get what we want. Um, I'm... Oh, what? Where have they gone? Oh! Damn, that's blinded! Ah! Ah, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna quickly steal you. Warning, warning, warning! Where are the other balls? Oh, guys, I can't find my balls! Where have they gone? Ah, where are they? Okay, there's another. There's another. And they made these way too bright, man. Ooh, actually, while I'm getting attacked. Where's the doggo? Where's the doggo sentinel? He'll be around here somewhere. Where the hell is it? Never normally get a chance to take shots at the uh, doggo. Ah oh, well. As you well. Uh, What's uh, what's everybody's favourite filter? Um, I've got to admit, I think mine is actually isolation. I don't know what about it, but I love it. It reminds me of old style, um, old style movies. I don't know if anybody's ever seen Sin City, where it's uh, all black and white other than the blood. The blood is red, and uh, so what's in the box behind you, man? What box? Uh, if it's said box, that is um, all of my water cooling equipment um, and my water coolant for my graphics card, which I still have yet to uh, actually put on my graphics card. 
Oh yeah, I do need to get around to doing that. Um, hopefully with my new job I'll have a bit more free time to do those said things. Okay, okay, I've got three balls left to find. Never thought I'd say that before. Oh, come on. Why won't you let me pick you up? <laughs> my balls have dropped and I can't get them back. Oh, okay, I'm leaving my two balls behind. Run, run, run. Oh, now the dog appears. I'll say it's been a while since I've um, I've actually been on No Man's Sky, so it's really nice to um, be back on here, man, and streaming it and playing around. The past couple of videos I've done, I uh, I played Warframe on the uh, VVR show that me and Alpha do, um, and then the Xbox Insider. Uh, we obviously had the Xbox inside the stream playing, so I didn't play a game then. So it's really nice to jump back into No Man's Sky and just it revel in its beauty. And freaking get chased by goddamn sentinels, man. Leave me alone. They do nothing to you guys. Uh, game mode, hi mate, and thumbs up for me. Uh, hey, game mode, and thank you so much for coming along to my stream, man. Awesome to have you here, and thank you so much for dropping that like as well. Really do appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah, I don't use filters at all, but I guess that's cool looking. <laughs> they put the filters there for a reason, Alpha. You should, uh, you should try some through light, man. Just look through them and. Some of them, you'd be surprised at how they can change a um, change a screenshot for you completely. Ah, oh, there's loads of freaking gravitino balls on this planet, man. I uh, would attempt to make a bit of money while I'm here, seeing as I don't have a farm set up. See if I can just hide under here without uh, goddamn sentinels coming after me. Uh, Cast uh it's a good attack to gun. Place my balls in my ship. Actually place them in. Still got so much stuff left from when I was uh, hoarding things for my um, my journey through all the galaxies. I've yet to sort out my inventory. So unorganized. What can I say? You can go to the freighter. Uh, along with you. On me. Um. Okay, mode. Awesome man. Thank you and hello. My pleasure a lot. I would, but every time I take one, I find something I like in the normal mode. Oh no, that's fair enough, man. If you um, if there's, if you've never had that shot that you don't think looks quite right in normal mode, then you know, that's off to you. Fair play. Uh, just gonna quickly send a message. I do apologise. Two secondos. Ah, okay, let me get the famium first. Ah, man, I really wish you could turn down the brightness of the freaking gravitino balls. Fuck. Oh. 
No, oh, they're not elite sentinels. I could kick all their asses easily. I just don't like them. Not that I'm scared. Not that I'm running. Oh, let me get this last ball. Thank you. Uh, and I seem to be stuck. What am I stuck on? Defamium. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the infinite man. Oh, I don't know what it is about the squid ships, but I just think they look beautiful, man. Every time I see them, I'm just amazed. Yes, I'm going to take a picture of it. The Retro One kind of reminds me of the, uh, like, comic book. Comic book strips as well. Uh, hey there, Skycube. Uh, welcome to my channel. Awesome to have you here, man. And thank you for dropping by. As everybody saw the uh, the current trend on Twitter at the moment for the hashtag Hello Games, uh, love Hello Games. Like it's amazing. I don't know who it is who um, who it is who started it, but it's amazing either way. Like what they've done, and it's it was awesome because one day you had people uh, sort of slating and hating on Hello Games. And then the next day, you just my Twitter feed was just rammed full of these hashtag love hello games, and it was amazing to see. And it's amazing to see all the different reasons why people love this game. Like some people, it it genuinely helps them with their life, and you know things like that. Like I personally said, they created the game that's you know it's it's took me to limits I never thought had and beyond, and it's it's pushed me to do things that I probably would never have even thought of doing before, like streaming obviously, you know, stuff like that, and it's brought me into this amazing community where I've met so many great people and made so many great friends. Oh, God. Yeah, like, I mean, if, if nobody, um, if any of you guys haven't seen it, I definitely recommend going onto Twitter and just having a look through through your feed and seeing if you can see any and if you haven't done one yourself go in there man and hashtag love hello games it's it's an amazing thing that's been done yeah. i really can't see anything oh, with all these freaking clouds and fog what, what's this that's literally nothing Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. I haven't done many streams lately, either, guys. Um, and I do apologise. Apologise for that. I know. I do have a few people who quite enjoy coming to my streams, um, and I really do appreciate that. And I will be getting back on track with that. Hopefully, uh, this week. You know, I'm. Uh, I'm off work all next week as well. I will be going away for a couple of nights with my missus, um, just for a bit of me and her time. And I just need a break out of my, uh, get away from my town, but yeah, you'll be seeing plenty more of me. And that was empty. I uh, 
I really can't wait for next though, I've got to say. I just, I'm so excited to see what they've, what they've got planned for us. I really am. I'm excited to see what Element 6 is. Be it a trailer or not, it, 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 you know, I, I hope it's something amazing. I really do. Go explore some of the other planets. Does anybody have any tips on uh, how to find S-Class multi-tools by any chance? Multi-tool hunting is something I haven't actually... I uh, haven't actually done that much. I, uh, I'm still amazed at you, Alpha, as well. You friggin' go searching for a, uh, a freighter for the first time and you end up getting a goddamn S class. Like, that's that is pretty lucky, I've got to admit. Like, it genuinely was, man. The other one I've got is only bloody C class. Yeah. I probably should have gone and sold all of my Gravitino balls. The economy. Ah, I do indeed. Thank you very much, and you're going to send me to another planet, aren't you? No? Yes? Do, do, do. Oh, what the hell? What the hell are the odds of that? I can fly down onto a planet and I scan for a trading post and it's literally right next to me. Never saw that coming. Yay, time to sell all my balls. Oh my god. Would that be... That'd be classed as an extreme planet. Do you need to spend a lot of time on the extreme planet? Well, I didn't even search for it. I popped in to just see... I was just on my way back from farming about to shut the game down. <laughs> exactly, man. You're a jammy bastard. I went searching for ages for mine. For one that I actually liked. Ah, uh, well. I'll, uh, I'll let you off this time. I um I do need to try and get my money back on back on track. I did actually have quite a quite a bit over a hundred odd million at one point, and I just seem to have seem to have lost it all. Oh hey ho! Here's what it is. Money is replaceable. Um. Um. Literally, I had something in my head then of what I wanted to do, and I cannot think. No.
So, um, I have been thinking for a while as well, at some point I do want to uh, start streaming other games. Um, and I wouldn't mind doing a couple of Let's Plays as well, because uh, I've not done, done any of those yet. And I was thinking of doing uh, just a Let's Play series on, um, on the new God of War. Because um, that looks like a friggin' amazing game. And I used to play the others and I really do enjoy. Um, really did enjoy them. But I'm, uh, I'm, I would like a couple of other games to stream as well. And I'm not too sure what. I was thinking of doing Monster Hunter World. Um, so I was really into that before I got back into No Man's Sky. Um, I mean, would that be something that you guys would like to watch, you know? I mean, either way, I probably will do it at some point. Like, not gonna lie. Make it. Thermal yeah. protection offline. To levels, stabilize. Dynamic resonator needed. Well, it worked out well. It was cheap, 286 mil, and I now have three ships too. And started my base at the freight. I know range is looking up. 100% 10 planets, and that happened long. Yeah, you lucky bugger. I must be on my 8th freight and now I just keep seeing nicer ones. Yeah, I know, that's the issue. <laughs> you see one that you think looks pretty cool and then all of a sudden jump into another galaxy and you're like, oh no, that one looks so much better. Gotta have that one. Um, oh crap, can you not buy dynamic resonators from here? Oh. Um, do you actually need those ones? Shit, load of platinum and iron. Yeah. I don't see much platinum these days. But it's as though it's became a rare commodity. Um, Okay, so I do actually need to stay on an extreme planet for a while because it's one of my uh, polo milestones. Uh, but I'm not just going to stand around and do nothing. I will, um, I will be searching for this amazing planet. The only thing is, it'd be so much easier if I could just get my exocraft, but of course I need stuff that I don't bloody have. Let me in. Come on. Stabilize. Uh, 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 uh. Stabilize him. Stabilize him. Uh, 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 uh. What the, how is it that I'm stood here and it's... It was freaking fine a second ago. What the hell? I'm gonna get my S class mark tool now. Sword gave me a portal address too. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, I mean, I um, 
I know that you can, like, like you say, you can. A lot of people have put up portal addresses for where um, S class stuff is. But it's all in Euclid. There really isn't much that's branched out of Euclid, and it's one of the main reasons I was going to head back there. So I could try and get myself prepared for next and whatnot, but. <sighs> Meh. I'll do fine. Hopefully with next we'll be able to easily traverse the galaxies anyway, so I don't mind doing it this way. I wonder if they're um, they're gonna change much with the farms and stuff, like, because we all know at the moment it's quite easy to, well, make money. Really, it's not exactly a hard, a hard challenge or anything anymore. It used to be before farms, you had to do what I'm doing now, just freaking constantly grinding and mining every last thing you came across that was worth. Something. But I wonder if they're gonna change farming, or whether they're just gonna make it so that, like. If somebody farms or harvests a farm, then every other person who is at that farm has to wait for the timer. Like, it's all synced up. I kind of hope that is how it is. Because I think at the moment, everything's too easy. Um, you don't feel like any real, real grind to the game anymore, really. Get a portal address, jump there, and yeah, you're sorted. I mean, I think it'd still be cool if we can farm each other's farms, like, harvest each other's farms. I just don't think it... I think if one person farms it, that should be it. You have to wait the 30 minutes or the hour or whatever it is for the farm that you're doing, like. But then I suppose that's where trolls will come and strike, because they'll just stand there farming your farm constantly. I don't know. Um, there are more Viking missions to do than I've done them all. Oh, that's awesome, man. Fair play to you. Um, is that all the milestones that you've done then? Or um, until like you hit maps on? Woo, platinum. Or until you hit maps on the, uh, the Viking reputation. How many did I need for my resonate? Uh, iron that I'm lacking. Play, man. I didn't know there was an end to the mission board missions. Oh right, is that what you mean? Oh my god. Oh no, let me get undercover. Damn it. I'm gonna quickly read chat a bit. Uh you can come and do missions, it's just to get them all gold and the highest rank. Ah, oh, fair enough. Um, Infinite Gamer, I say that's how it will be. I'm kind of hoping it is like that. That's. Uh, I think at the moment it's too easy. You can just be like, here you are everyone, jump to my... Come to my farm and all of you can make millions within within minutes. But I, I just think it's a bit too easy. Um... Commander Vapid Wolf. Um, I don't believe I've saw you in my uh, in my stream before, so uh, welcome, welcome to my stream. You've now joined the Infinite Loop. 
Um, thank you for coming along, man. Um, awesome to have you here. Uh, so who's looking forward to next, and what do you think it will bring to the table apart from multiplayer? Anyone buying it for Xbox, or am I the only one? Oh, you are not the only one, I will tell you that now. I have it on PC, I have it on PS4, and I have already pre-ordered it uh, for my Xbox as well, although I won't be getting it till the 27th. Uh, but I don't mind, I've still got other platforms to play it on, so it's not a huge, uh, huge deal to me. But yeah, man, are you... Um, are you actually only on Xbox, um, or or have you got it on PC or PS4 already at the moment? Um, and also, um, like, what do I think it'll bring to the table apart from multiplayer? Um, well, I'll tell you what I hope it brings to the table apart from multiplayer. Um, I hope they overhaul the planets and the biomes. I hope they overhaul the animals and the animal sounds. Uh, bring more, you know, bring more variety to them. Um, that sort of thing, you know, make them, uh, make them all feel a bit more unique. Because I will be honest, like, a lot of the animals, you see them and you're kind of like, eh, that doesn't actually look that different. Um, yeah, to be honest, that. They really are the only two things, or three things, that I'm, I'm actually that fussed about. Like, as long as I get those, I am friggin' happy. Like, I would be thrilled with that. Um, but, like, obviously we know we've got our avatars as well, so I'm kind of hoping for avatar customization, being able to change the look of your, um, change the look of your, your avatar. Have different shoulder pads, helmets, that sort of thing. Change the colour. I'm hoping for more ship variety. And I'm... Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed for uh, ship customization as well. So, actually being able to... Um, actually being able to change the look of your ship without having to go out and search for it. Like, I don't know, being able to build new wings on it or a new cockpit. Something like that. Um... Yeah, man. I mean, what ideas have you got for what's going to be in next? Other than the obvious, uh, what we've seen in the multiplayer, whatnot. Matters in my ship is crap. Freaking. <laughs> uh, I completed the milestone a long time, long ago. I did enjoy doing the milestones more than the missions. So, um, yeah, I can see why. To be honest, the milestones uh, they actually. Get you doing things like going and discovering the words, going out there and hashing it out on extreme planet, um, you know, all that sort of things. Whereas the missions, it's basically a click and go sort of thing. Whoa, okay, that ship looks funky. I want to see that ship close up. Please photo move, please photo move. What is that shit? Isn't it an explorer? Oh wait, it looks freaking cool. It looks weird, man. Um, sorry about that. Easily distracted. Ah, freaking not close enough. Looking forward to it. I ain't sure if it will, if I will get it on Xbox. Have to get one first. Well, character models would be nice. Inclusion in photo mode. Yeah, I swear down. If they end up putting character models in this, and then like you can't even see them in photo mode, I'm gonna hit hit the roof. Man. I will flip out and I will 
if we can go all the way down to where they is it Guildford that they're in? Hello games and that and I will slap your mummy in the face. That the lost all. Um, but you are right, yes. Character models would be nice, and the uh, inclusion in photo mode would be awesome as well. Uh, Tony, I'm sticking with just my PS4 copy. Um, I have it on PC and PS4, also awesome, man. I'm glad. I'm glad to see people, uh, you know, not saying that anybody who isn't buying it on Xbox or on more than one platform. Um, like, don't take this the wrong way, please. But I'm just glad to see people, like, even though they've already got the game, they're still buying it on a different platform. Because one of the main reasons I'm doing it is just for the sheer fact um, to actually support Hello Games, man. They can't have much money by now. And I would hate to see things go badly with them. So I'm just sort of doing it as a, you know, screw it. Thank you. I've got an extra 50 quid that I can spare. Here you are, man. Crap, I didn't want to build a nomad for freak's sake. Okay, well, it's done now. It's done. Um, I've been playing for a while, though. I want to get it for my ex, though. Sweet, sweet 4K. I'm hoping for PSVR 2. A uh, lot you can play on f uh, 4K on PC. Yeah, you got to remember, though, you got to have a 4K PC for that alpha. And those things do not come cheap. <clears throat> but um, yeah, man, I can't wait to. I mean, I'm sure I can actually play it in uh, in 4K on my on my PC already. Um, I don't know how well it handles, so that's the only issue. And I doubt I'd be able to stream at the same time as doing it. Um, this isn't my PC. This is my PS4 save. If you may be wondering, um, the reason I wanted my the reason I didn't want the Nomad was because I haven't got anything built in it. Um, other than all the acceleration upgrades. And I wanted to get the friggin' mining laser and all that stuff. Which I've got on my... Uh, my oh god, I freaking ran out of fuel. Uh, which I had on my Roma already. Oh well. Oh well, not the end of the world. What the hell, where am I going? Oh wow, I'm well and truly stuck in here. Come on. Go! Oh, for God's sake. One thing I hate about snowy planets, man, I'm not looking forward... If they, if they do bring in, like, bigger, denser forests and that, I'm not looking forward to trying to navigate them in a freaking nomad, man. Any is it? Oh wow, that's a that's a piece of plutonium. Hello and thank you. <sighs> Hoping to mine that tree so I don't have to use plutonium or any carbon. I do. Uh, PSVR requires 120 FPS, 60 per ride. This game runs at 60 for the PS4, so I doubt it. I doubt it will be capable of running without serious graphics downgrade, and that's on the Pro PS4. Only does the uh, original and just 30. I feel obliged to do for the community's new Xbox players. Um. Yeah, I can't really get what you mean there, man. Like, I I have been thinking for a while about because. Um, I don't know if... It, I feel really bad because I'm crap with names and I'm crap at remembering who is sub to me and who is in my streams all the time. And um, I just cannot recognise your name. Uh, Commander Vampire... Uh, Vapid Wolf. I'm gonna call you Vapid. It makes my life easier. But yeah, I mean, if, you, um, if you're not a part of our Discord, I really do... Apologise if you already are. But if you're not, then um, make sure to join it, like, because we're all like-minded people, uh, just for having a good laugh and that, and chilling out. And I'd love to meet up with some of you guys. Well, I'd love to meet up with all you guys when next is out, and we, you know, we've got the proper integrated multiplayer into it. 
But yeah, I've um, I've been thinking for a while because we've got our own Discord and that, and I am going to be having it on Xbox. I might start my own little Xbox group, um, perhaps, and dedicate one one day of streaming to like uh, the Xbox community sort of thing because I do love the Xbox. Um, I love the Xbox, and uh, a lot of my mates um, that actually like live around with me uh, all play Xbox, and I'd love to try and get them into No Man's Sky as well. Um, and there you are. There is the Infinite Pixels Discord, or the Alpha Discord, as it's actually called. I still keep me in to change that name. <laughs> oh. Seriously need to like I need to find some um bases or something just so that I can just so that I can Ooh, I need to play on. just so that I can see if there's any S class multisaws anywhere. I can't remember if you can build a scanner. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so let's put it back on. Oop, oh, what's going on? Yeah, oh, I just ran something over. I feel bad now. I mean, it's a. Uh, oh wow! Look at that for a flip. Oh my god! I can't see anything. Where am I going? Okay, I'm in a cave. How do I end up in a cave? And now I'm at the cave. Nope, nope. Falling back in. Yeah, I mean like. Is there anything else that anybody really would love to see in next? Like, that they would just... The top thing that they pray to God is in it. And this is under the building. I mean, like, even I'm struggling right now to actually think of what my main thing would be. If I could ask for anything to be in No Man's Sky, what would it be? Uh, I genuinely do not know. Where is the terminal? Is this abandoned? I run straight past it. Oh, I did. Turning user identified, terminal now active. Unlocking data log. Beneath their skin, they had placed tiny seeds of the glass. Look on the appearance of strange, ritualistic scarring. The nubs of the broken crystal were ancient, ground down and polished by the generations before them. They fed them their life, and in return, the crystals glowed with emerald fires, brought them close to a fate. 
I would listen to them talk of worlds they could never see. Alien tongues that their bodies, body was not made to utter. Mm. Oop, pardon me. Glass made them something more than they were. The vessel for intelligence is utterly unlike us. I do find the um, the lore in all of these abandoned buildings quite interesting because they go on about some crazy ass things, man. And they're things that you don't you don't see mentioned anywhere else. And it, it just I'm curious as to whether they got a. I'm uh, curious as to whether they're actually going to be uh, delved into a bit more, like the law and everything. Had to lift one last building. Oh, question mark. And then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, go on to another planet in this uh, in this system. Uh, I actually really don't want you right now. I got the worst freaking question mark ever to go to. God damn you. That sounds just beautiful. Um, isn't YouTube amazing? Um, and if I could, I'm not. I run the community you remember of for long. Uh, which community do you run? I'm very intrigued right now. Um, and what do you mean by I'm not? Uh, you're not a part of our Discord channel. I take it that's what you mean. Um, well, I, I really do apologise, man. Normally I'm a bit better with names and whatnot. Oh wow, you um Oh wow. Uh which amino? Uh are you a part of the No Man's Sky calf or the No Man's Sky Well, just No Man's Sky because I'm a part of two uh two sort of like clubs on the Amino app at the moment. Um oh damn that's bright. You actually quite like that. Brightness hurts. One. I just love how it brings out the green in things, like it just makes it look amazing. Yo, 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 infinite and everyone just finished work and I thought I'd check in. How's things going tonight? Yeah, man, it's going awesome, man. Awesome. Just been uh, chatting a bit about next, some of the things that we'd like to see from it. Uh, talked about the Xbox community a bit. We've got uh, Vapid Wolf here saying uh, he kind of feels obligated to buy the uh, Xbox version of No Man's Sky, just for those Xbox players out there, um, uh, not the calf. Oh right, so uh, you run the No Man's Sky um, Amino app, part that I'm a part of, man. That's awesome dude, man. Thank you so much for jumping into my uh, my stream. I have been a part of you for quite a while now, I think. Um, and like, I love, I love all the communities in the Amino apps, they're amazing. Um, the No Man's Sky, uh, Sky Calf is brilliant, and your one is brilliant as well, so welcome. Yeah man, if you'd, um, if you'd like to join our Discord, feel free to join. It's not all No Man's Sky based, there's, there's plenty of other games that get played and talked about in there. So don't feel like uh, it's, it's all about No Man's Sky, it's not. Although at the moment No Man's Sky is... Uh, very big thing in everybody's life at the moment, I think, so. But it'd be awesome to have you there, man. 
definitely. Um, okay, man, how you doing? All good? I'll thank yourself. Uh, I noticed your videos. Um, yeah, well, I uh, kind of don't know if you've got any rules over there or anything, but I figured, you know, you wouldn't mind a fellow No Man's Sky streamer popping up some videos in there. And I think I have had a few people from your... Um, uh, from your community, like, come in and watch my videos and, you know, say they like my stuff and whatnot. No, oh, man, anyone who's got a love for No Man's Sky, you know, I'll get on with you well. Uh, that's good, UK. I'm good. Just playing No Man's Sky and watching your bro. Wish I could say the same, but I'm stuck watching the soap for the message. <laughs> good said. Oh, it's a good thing about my missus having a freaking 210 job. I can finish work and uh, I have a good four hours to myself. I don't get squandered to do anything else. Well, I, I do still get told off if I don't do a washing up, etc. But, you know. I can get away with not doing that every day. I have a love-hate relationship with No Man's Sky. Oh, how can you hate No Man's Sky? <laughs> No, what do you mean by that? Like, there's days that you love playing it and then days that you just want to stay away from it. Oh, that would. Okay, we're going to go cave surfing. I'm just like, I'm just waiting for everybody to, uh, to pull out their the pitchforks now and start chanting for uh, Vapid to leave the chat. Sort of like uh, South Park with the crab people. Crab. Oh, crab. Uh, I have my reasons. Ah, uh, that's, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. As long as you, you still love it, so, you know, that's, that's, that's the main thing. I'm hoping the love outweighs the hate, at least. <laughs> I really need to get out of this cave, man. <laughs> I've got no clue how. Uh, yeah. Oh! Damn it. I thought this would be a smart idea. It is really strange to see trees inside of a cave. Um, but I'm, it really is weird. That actually looks really cool, though, man. I really like that. It's got like a little forest in the middle of a cave. That looks class. Oh god, man, that is terrible. Hope you get out of it soon, long. <laughs> yeah, I'll fix this. I love No Man's Sky, but it's, it is parts of the No Man's Sky community's people I don't like. There's some weird shit happening recently. And Skycube asks, like, what? Um, I think I sort of know what, uh... I wouldn't be the first some people have been chanting my name with their burning torches and pitchforks in hand. <laughs> uh, you're not making yourself sound like a great guy here. <laughs> nah. I imagine you're, uh... I imagine you're an awesome dude. Anyone who gets on with, um, gets on with No Man's Sky is, is awesome. Well, I do also know what, uh, <laughs> I do also know what Alpha is going on about there. And recently I have saw a lot of stuff with No Man's Sky that kind of grinds on, grinds on me and annoys me. Um, but... You get it with every game, and it's amazing of a community we have with No Man's Sky. Um, I don't think it's that amazing that we'll... For God's sakes, I keep doing that. I don't think it's that amazing that we'll actually be able to never have like any annoying people or haters or non-genuine people or anything like that. It's always going to happen. And it's something we sort of kind of just got to deal with and push to one side. Unfortunately.
But in a general, like most of the people I um, I've met through the No Man's Sky community are amazing, and anyone who I don't get on with, I tend to just sort of fuck off and don't necessarily listen to anymore or have anything to do with, or try to have little to do with. I play this game because I enjoy it and I enjoy the people I play it with. And for that reason, I only want to play it with people I enjoy playing it with. I have not covered you yet. That's 106,000. I will tell you, it's one of the best investments I've ever done, the, uh, the analytic advisor upgrades. Good way of making a little bit of cash here and there. I am infuriated and it is not on. This is a person I used to understand and now they became everything I despise. Oh, right, yes, I definitely, definitely know who you're going on about now. You're not the only one who's um, said that, Alpha. I've seen so much stuff being said about um, said about this person. And they've said the same thing, that they used to they used to really enjoy watching him and have so much respect for him. And recently, after everything that's happened, they're just shocked at the way he's dealt with things and that. Uh, no Man's Sky Wars. <laughs> That probably will happen when next is out, I'll tell you now. Um, but no, I, I completely agree with you, Alpha, and the stuff that has been done. I'm not mentioning names, and for the same reason I'm not mentioning names, Alpha isn't mentioning names. I imagine, anyway. Um, but yeah, like, it, there's no need for it, it's uncalled for, and... It's taking shit too far, man. You just need to stop being so petty and hiding behind the fact that it's claiming it's role playing, things like that. It's it's no fun when you're ruining somebody else's gaming experience. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Commander Vapid Wolf, mention names. I will not mention names. Sorry, dude, but uh, I don't want to be that kind of streamer. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump on and do my own stream and then start slating and hating on somebody else. You just gave it away, Lord. How did I give it away? That precisely. Precisely what you said, Alpha. To be honest, it's not hard to find out, uh... Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like I was gonna say then, it ain't hard to find out what's going on. And I'd imagine if you're, if you're, um, if you run the community on an amino, on the Amino app, then, yeah, you probably know Lily of the No Man's Sky calf, so you know everything that's going on with it, probably. But like I was saying, I am being that streamer that goes and slates other streamers. Um, I'm new to this myself. I don't want to make enemies. Uh, I have no need to make enemies, and I'm not. I'm not that type of person. I'm not stooping to other people's levels. All I'll say is there's no need for what what has been done, and they have not got the right attitude towards it. Just, it's a shame when people are working hard to build the community, especially people that don't want nothing to do with PvP or anything like that, and they're, they're being targeted. It's just not nice. But that's just the way that I look at things. I imagine there's plenty of people out there who will easily disagree with me. And they're more than welcome to. I mean, I'm always down for a, um, down for a debate, man. As long as it stays as a healthy debate, I don't mind. I was, uh, I was debating quite a lot on a on a video earlier. Quite good fun actually. Get running off and work for five minutes to uh, go and send my reply. 
Ooh. He can target me if he likes, yeah, that goes. <laughs> yeah, well, to be honest, I think he's already got a lot of big names um, putting a target on his back. So, I, I think what he has done is a huge mistake when next comes out. He's going to regret it. Yeah, kick his ass, see best. <laughs> but no, you um you seem like an awesome dude, uh Bapid. To be fair, like um I'm up there. glad you came along, man. I'm glad to have like are you one of the leaders of um or like the uh, uh, I don't know, leaders sounded wrong then, but yeah, leader of the uh the No Man's Sky uh app on the on the Amino app. Just that like, it'd be amazing to actually, like, it's amazing to have you here and see some people from there, man. Yeah, like I said, I will kill him with my hippie flowers and hope he has hay fever. Throw loads of uh, pollen everything over him and set your uh, your hippie bees on him. Let him be stung to death. Leader, my friend, I am the leader. <laughs> awesome, man. No, honestly, it's um, it's awesome to actually have you here then, because uh, my brother, UK Gamer eighty four, he's the one that introduced me to um, like the Amino app and the No Man's Sky calf. And um, yeah, like I've not really, I've had quite a bit to do in the No Man's Sky calf, but I've not really done much in yours. I like, I hate to admit. Um, nothing against yours, it's just we've been trying to find time to do everything and work lately has been killing me. Um, so it's awesome to have you here, man. Like, it really is. Um, do you do, like, streaming yourself or do you have your own YouTube channel or do you dedicate all your time to the Amino app? First alert, Paracore isolated, artificial intelligence. Don't believe everything you hear. What do you mean by that? You're not... You're not the leader? Oh. I will be back in a short two seconds. Just need a quick toilet break. chatting later uh, I take it Vapid has left the building quite rapidly uh, just gonna roll myself a quick smoke of Roonies Fix it, you get your new naught tool yet. Yeah. See, I really want to find a new multi tool myself. I really like really want to get an S class one, but I have no clue what I'm looking for other than the um like the shelters and that. 
I know that they have the uh, the multi tools to be sold, and then you've got the space anomalies, um, which also sell them. Um, but every time we go to a space anomaly, anomaly, it always seems to be shit. They'll have like two or three slots, and that's it. Like, I hate the way mine looks. It freaking looks like a, I don't know, a hairdryer or a leaf blower or something. I don't like it. Just don't like it, guys. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go to this shelter, uh, and then I'm going to journey on to a different system. Um, quickly, uh, the next person to randomly shout out Viking, Gek, or Corvax, whichever of your choice, that is the next system I'm going to. Um, I think they're just random on the anomalies on whether they're good or bad. Uh, yeah, I kind of get that, that feel about them. Um, I just must have really crap range when it comes to um, when it comes to searching for the multi tools on the space anomalies. Which hates me. Why are you gathering exocraft materials? Ah uh, crap, drop a bag. Not good. Crushed into a tree. This is why you don't smoke and drive, kids. Uh, so many trees. God, this would have been quicker to run. Oh, what am I doing? Come on, go, move. Yeah, I imagine it's going to take me a long time, but I kind of like that as well. It's what I mean with like with the way that we can... Um, how can I put this? The way at the moment how people can just give somebody a portal address to an S-Class Exolic, an S-Class Ship, um, an S-Class Multi-Tool, things like that. It, is it just me, or does it take away the sense of exploration and the feeling of accomplishment when you find that S-Class yourself? Like, when you, you discover it yourself and it's like, oh, amazing. So I'm going to the address. Lord gave me for the S-Class more tool and I would need one. Ah, right, okay. Shouldn't take you long to get stuff for uh, for one, one exo craft, to be fair. Um, but yeah, that is the exact thing that keeps happening to me. I keep getting multi tools that, you know, they'll have a couple of good specs to them and they'll be like A-Class or summer, but then they have fuck all slots in them. Mine's got 23 slots. I don't want one that's got less slots, I want one that's got max slots and I want it to be S-Class and experimental, I want everything. Being greedy. Just what I want. And then that's what clever. Life form shows me a complicated creature research data to see if I can comprehend it. I must look blank. Life form instead projects three holographic images in white. 
They are clearly seeking my opinion on the intellect of my own speeches. I am shown a vacant looking slug, a more advanced speed trader, and a member of their own electronic base. Um, I'm going to point to the slug. He pities me and gives me a gift and a sympathetic nod. Oh, thank you, Corvax. Thank you so much. But he pitying me. Corvax, just trying to keep things moving. <laughs> I love how Fusion hasn't been talking for a while and then just jumps in here with Corvax. Gotta be Corvax. Sound, that'll be the next system I go to then. I'll go to a Corvax system. Um, we've got stuff to walk. Finding things on your own is the best way, and it's not impossible. You know, one day you'll get what you're looking for. Yeah, hopefully, man. Hopefully. It's not just you. I try my best to find fallible ships and multi tools myself. That's so what I mean. Like, as much as I hate to admit it, this um, this squid ship I'm in right now is one that I jumped to a portal address um, to find, and I spent about three hours sat there waiting for it. Um. So I'm sort of being a bit co contradicting at the moment, but it's it's because it's there, and when you've got the option there, and you really want something, I one thing I lack very much is patience, especially when it's something I extremely want, and I'm sure my ship has moved. Why has that ship moved to there? I did not pull it there. Um... But yeah, it, it takes it away, but I do I do hope they change quite a few things uh, with Next in that sense of it being so easy to find stuff. All it takes is one person to find something amazing and then they can spread that portal address around and everybody can go and get it and that... What the hell is that? Oh my god, my freight is about to get hit by an asteroid. Oh no, it did get hit by an asteroid. Ooh, they're so close. Yeah, um... Oh god, what was I saying then? What was I saying then? Yeah, it, it takes away that... I don't know, it takes away that sense of exploration and when you find something that is amazing and unique, something that nobody else has ever seen, uh, like a, a ship for instance, and then you send that portal address out and um, everybody else then starts going to that portal address and getting it, that thing that you had that was unique, it isn't so unique anymore. Everybody else is getting it slowly and slowly. Like, think of the first person to have found um, to have found a squid ship, a squid exotic. Like that must have been an amazing feeling. And then all of a sudden, they've told people about it, and that amazing feeling has sort of gone to like, oh great, everybody has it now, sort of thing. Oh yeah, I have done everything by myself. Just until now. I'm just doing this because this is 12 days left. I might as well. Who knows, the S-Class stuff might have less stats than that. Yeah, I'm not, um... Like, don't get me wrong, Alpha. I'm not, um... I'm not hating on anybody who does it. Like I said, I did it myself, so I can't really say much. But like I said, it's because it's there. And... Like, when they talked about No Man's Sky before it was out, and they talked about the launch of it, and they said, like, you know, you might make these amazing discoveries that nobody else 
um, will come across and you might be the only person to discover them and see them and like that can all change quite easily just with one portal address in it and I think it kind of it, it sucks out some of the enthusiasm to go out there and explore to go out there and spend hours grinding searching for this this amazing thing that you want I don't know. Ooh, I was just about to search for one of you. Saves me doing it. Uh, what planets? On. Ooh. Dusty planet with vortex cubes. Well, uh, let's go to this transmission tower. Um, also, something I want to do as well. I don't know if this is how other streamers do it or anything, but Fusion, you've been in my, um... You've been in my stream so many times, and you always come along and watch me, and you've stuck with me for ages. Um, and I'll thank you so much for that, and for the sheer fact that you're in my stream so much. Um, if I ever need somebody to kick out an arsehole who's pissing me off, I need a mod in here. And for that reason, I am going to make you a moderator. Um, you don't have to feel obliged to do anything with it. I just think, seeing as you've, um, seeing as you've been in my channel and following me for so long, I really appreciate it. And it's sort of my way of showing thanks to you, mate. The more mods I've got, the better. I'm waiting for the haters to come along. Bring along, bitches, I'll be ready. Um, it's the same with farms for me. I want to earn my units, not just go everywhere else and grab other people's works. Yeah, exactly, man. I, did. I think the thing that's cool, me and my brother, we went into... Um, we went into the same system and we each picked a planet and picked a farm that we was going to create. And we both built a farm on a separate planet but in the same system so that we could then go back and forth. But that to me is building a community. It's not just using somebody else's thing. It's sort of creating a community within a, um, within a system. And I love that idea and I hope they implement more into that uh, with Next. Um, yeah, I kind of agree with you. And I think at the moment, um, obviously I can't do that like going to other portal addresses because I don't think many people have done it past the first few galaxies. So yeah. Just my thoughts on it. I'm not hating on anybody who does it, like everybody's got their own way of playing the game. Spend to them at the end of the day. Um hashtag refusionary uh Damn straight, man. Hashtag Refusionary. He's stuck with me since since my very first streams. Um, and I really do appreciate that, man. Really do. I'm glad that you enjoy my content and that you enjoy me as a streamer and as a person. Um, means a lot to me. And that is why you are worthy of holding the almighty infinite wrench. Um, I understand, Alpha. I need help. Oh, no. I skipped a bit. Uh, at work trying to resolve SMTP mail issue but needs something going on in the background. Oh awesome man, I'm glad you picked me to have in the, in the background. That's sweet man. Um, I understand Alpha, I needed help to find my first squid ship. I looked for one for over a week, in the end it pissed me off. It pissed me off looking. That's pretty much what I did with a squid ship. I kept finding every other friggin exotic other than a squid. It's killing me. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 21 is 34. Uh, yeah, it's pissing me off. I got a S class stuff in my PC all by myself, about 300 hours of a save I've done myself. Uh, so I already get the sense of accomplishment. Uh, I'm going to be on a phone call, so I'm sorry if I miss anything. No, no worries, Alpha man. You've got you've got shit going on. That's fine, man. Don't worry about it. 
And I get what you mean. It's uh, it was sort of the same with me when I did start building my farm on the PS4 uh, save before I built my one with my brother. I was getting a bit tedious of all the grinding and everything because I had already done it on my on my PC save. Uh, but they had a pretty cool farm on there. So yeah. Um uh, fusion. Nice if you will send you private message on Discord. Yeah man, feel free. I'm uh, I'm almost down for talking. Oh yeah, I was thinking I might jump into um I might jump into our Discord's public crap, let me on the ship. Um public chat after I finish my stream. So it won't be live or anything, I won't be streaming it, but um I'll probably be ending my stream in about half hour, 40 minutes, and I'd love to get to know some of you guys um, who enjoy coming and watching my streams. I'd love to get to know you a bit more. So if you're not a part of the Discord, make sure to join it if you'd love to be more involved with me and Alpha and everybody else in there. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of jumping into the public chat, and if anybody wants to come along and chat with me for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it's not going to be long that I'm in there. Yeah, I'd definitely be down for that, so I'd love to get to know you guys on a bit more of a personal level outside of a streamer-viewer basis. Love to just get to know you a bit a bit more. Be a bit more friends towards each other rather than, uh, like I say, just a streamer-viewer basis. Not that that's bad, and I appreciate everybody who comes along. Um, heavens, I am here! Yes, you are, and welcome to the infinite loop. You are now trapped for an infinite amount of time, or at least until I end my stream. Hopefully. Uh, I would love to come and chat, but I must go in 15 minutes. Sorry. No, that's not a problem, mate. Honestly, um, like I said, I, I might do it a bit more often with my streams. Just for 15 minutes, anybody who'd like to jump in and chat with me. Um, and everybody else who decides to jump in there. I'd just love for us as a community, like, the the Alpha Discord is a small community at the moment, but it's a community I love, and I love so many people there. Um, I'm not even going to bother with that shit. Um, and, yeah, I'd love for us all to get to know each other a bit more, and, you know, I mean, we could chat about maybe once Next is out, sorting out a couple of community events or, um, you know, community meetups all get together and chill out in game and that I think it'd be pretty cool um, I mean if anybody would be interested we could start our own like little alpha hub um, or something I don't know it'd be cool to get to know you guys a bit more to thank you for joining my company. Um, Terence, are you by any chance person bot on uh, Discord? If not, let me know what your Discord name is. I'm just wondering if you're um, if you're one of the ones in the Cobalt um, company. That's a really cool idea. That is, I really do like it, and I will I will try and get more involved with you guys um, as soon as I've got some free time. But at the moment, I'm with work and everything going on I'm a bit flustered at the moment uh, yes that's me oh awesome man yeah I love the idea that you got going on and I'll definitely um, I'll definitely you know uh, sort out a role that I'll be willing to do I don't know what that'll be yet um, but I love the idea man I love I love the thought that you're putting into it like fair play to you man Uh, have you had a look at the jobs channels? Jobs channel, sorry. 
Um, <clears throat> I have had a brief look at it, yeah, but I'm not going to lie, I haven't looked into it too much, mate, and I do apologise. Um, and I will try and, I will try and sort it out as soon as I can. Um, it's trying to think of what job role I'd like to do as well, though, because there's so much about No Man's Sky I love doing, you know, exploring, fighting, all that stuff, and then it all comes down to what they're going to change as well with, um, with Nex coming out. Because um, as much as I love the fighting on this, I am crap at it, so I'd rather not say that I'll be like a defender of your of your uh, your cargo fleets or whatnot, and then end up being a part of crap, <laughs> losing all of your cargo. I'd hate to do that to you. Um. Okay. I really don't know why I landed here. I really need to find somewhere that's got. Um, is there a way of searching for like habitable, not habitable bases, um, shelters and stuff like that? Got a pretty cool helmet, man. I like the red on that. That looks funky. Take your time. That's over a week until next. Yeah, well, well. Um, like I said, I'm I'm off work next week. Um, so I'll, I'll be having a fair bit of free time. I've got two days, two two and a half days that are uh, that have already spoken for. But other than that, yeah. Uh, scouting will give you more exploratory freedom. Uh, what will be involved in the scouting? Is that like scouting for uh, resources and whatnot that'll be trading, or scouting for? Um, like systems to sell uh, commodities and etc. Either way, it's pretty cool. And I do love how much thought you put into it and that. Like, it's amazing. So I've. Uh, we got 12 days until next, and I, I'm currently on 113 subs. Do any of you guys reckon I can make it to 200 in 12 days? I mean, I would, um, I really would love to hit that. I did originally set my goal to be uh, 100 subs uh, by the time next was out. And, yeah, I ended up, like, smashing that out of the water. Uh, which I'm friggin' chuffed with, man, and I thank everybody who has sub to me. Um, that's what I wanted. Uh, scouts. scouts will use explorer ships with greater warp range to travel systems to find lucrative shipping routes and necessary resources. Yeah, see, that does sound pretty cool. I think the way that you're doing it is amazing, like, it's brilliant. And I really hope to um, really hope to get more people involved in it. Um, I don't know if you've if you uh, came along to any of our uh, oh yeah you have yeah of course you have. Uh, I was going to say our uh, our Sunday show the uh, VBR show that me and Alpha do. If if you ever want to like um, I don't know do like maybe a little intro video to Cobalt or set up a cobalt um like recruitment poster or something and i'm sure alpha wouldn't mind and we'll sort of like we'll try and advertise it as much as we can and get the word out there on um on their sunday night show or sunday day show um yeah just to try and help you get a few more recruits and that and help try and get your business set up and stuff i was there for the special stream uh the xbox insider stream i take it um, the one that people were not too happy with. <laughs> Why are you not giving me no arms? Got a manifold implant, let's go back. Help him with me, uh, me with publicity. Well, the, honestly, man, if there's anything that I can do to help, I'm more than willing to do it. 
think that what you're doing is really cool and it's a, like a, a really amazing thing to attempt to do, man. So if I can help you with anything, just just let me know. Just, you can DM me on um, if you friend me on on Discord, and you can DM me whenever you want if you've got any new news or anything that you'd like me to say on one of my streams. Um, yeah, I'll totally be down for that, man. Oh man, everything here is extreme. Damn. Man. Don't think there has actually been a, uh, a planet I've landed on that hasn't had extreme sentinels or extreme weather. Top it all off, this place has got freaking predators everywhere as well, man. Where the bloody hell's daughters? Oh, I was looking right at them. Tell people about the existence of the company, that should be enough, I guess. You need grenades, man, get those doors down so much quicker. Yeah, I know, you're telling me. What well, I use on my, uh, my PC version. PC save. Um, yeah, man, like, I'll, I'll do my damn best to, um, to tell you. And, uh, um, I'm trying to think of a way of. I mean, I'll, like, I'll try and send people as much as I can to your um, to your Discord channel, but obviously, um, I don't know if I can. Let me just have a quick check there. Um, Google. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll do my damn best, mate. I really would love to help you out as much as I can. Um, like, I appreciate you guys coming to my streams, and the least I can do is um, is help you guys out. And I think the idea you've got is really cool, and it's it's just awesome, so I'd love to see it flourish. But yeah, man, any time I'm streaming, I'll definitely try my best to, to shout out shout out to the Cobalt group, and um, as long as it's okay with you, I will... I'll create, I'll create a link so that people can, oh man, what are the odds? Get a look at trading stations. I'll create a link so that people can uh, join straight into your, straight into your Discord and that. And fingers crossed it'll learn, I'll, I'll help in picking it up a bit and getting it a bit off the ground like. And the roles are subject to change considering we don't know what mechanics will change in what way. So right now, not much is set in stone. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a very good point to be fair. Like we don't exactly know too much, so it'd be cool to get a basis on the go anyway. 
Uh, Tony, I must go now in for the gamer. Have fun with the rest of your stream, mate. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much, Tony. Um, man, I appreciate you coming along. And if you haven't already, if you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more, make sure to sub and drop that like. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, man. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you around on some of my other streams. Oh my god, man, I'm getting so lucky with exotics today. Although this does look exactly like the one that I, uh, I got earlier. Yeah, you, uh, you missed it, UK Gamer. I, um, <laughs> literally as I started my stream, I went to leave my, uh, freighter, and I think it is the exact same as this exotic here. It literally came flying into my freighter. <laughs> Literally did a 180 turnaround and uh, yeah, went and got that. So I'm now up to four exotics. I really hope they increase the, uh, the cap on how many ships you can have so much. Oh, wow, some of those look cool. <laughs> Oh, look at your head. I've never seen any of you with a friggin' horn like that. That looks awesome. Um, then get the best shot of it. Get those ships in. Feel free to share the Discord link with people. Awesome, man. Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to do it. I'd love to see you. Um, I'd love to see your Discord flourish. I really would. Um, Ivy Mike, what's up, Infinite? Cool creature. Thank you so much, man. I literally just found it. I've not seen one with a freaking horn like that myself. Um, looks awesome. And yeah, man. Welcome back to uh, welcome back to my channel and to my stream. You've now jumped into the Infinite Loop. Um. Yeah, man, it's awesome to have you here. Thank you so much for coming along. I probably will only be streaming for about another 20 minutes now. But um, I have said to a few people, I'll um, I'll be jumping into the public chat in Alpha's Discord for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes after my stream. So anyone who'd like to jump in and have a chat with me, like you're all welcome. I'd love to get to know you guys. And uh, yeah, uh, as soon as you've um, as soon as you've got that video IV of the, uh, the the cage match that you're going to be doing, uh, make sure you send it over to me, and we'll uh, me and Alpha have already said that we'd love to love to show it on our show on Sunday. It gives us something to talk about and good topic, and we're all about trying to promote other people's other people's ideas. And oh crap, I've just lost my goddamn protection. I was hesitant to recruit initially because we know so little about nuts, but I'm going all in now. Hey, why not, man? Why not? We don't know nothing about nets at the moment, but we know there's multiplayer, so we know we're going to be able to join up with people. And as long as people have got the imagination and the drive to role play, then you can sort of do whatever you want with want with it, really. I mean, at the moment, we could sort of set up a little trading route. I think they just need to expand on, um, just gonna roll another fag. I just think they need to expand on the, the trading market, like the, the way the trading economy, economy works. And I do reckon that they will be doing that because they've already done it once. And, um, as far as I can tell from Sean Murray and Hello Games, they just want to make this game better and better and better. So I reckon, you know, it's, Years down the line, I reckon this game's still going to be wowing people. It's still going to be huge, and I really hope it is. Yeah, but Ivy Mike, what was the um, what's the date for this uh, this permadeath cage match? 
Dan Hoen Pele, my fucking god, I hate fake news. What do you mean by that, dude? Hope it's not something Laugh said. Uh, 23rd at 8 p.m. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, anyone who's part of their Discord, there's a, uh, there's a section in the Discord called, uh, Permadeath Shown Down. Um, Permadeath Shown Down, so for anyone who's interested, uh, pop into that. That uh, section in the community section on the Alpha Discord, and it's got more details there. Or uh, come along on a on a Sunday show on a VPR show, and you'll um, we'll be talking about it a bit more then as well. And hopefully you have like a video and whatnot to sort of show the rules and stuff. As far as I know, anyway. Um, yeah. What's um? What's up with you? Oh right, uh, just some bullshit in the gaming industry, that whole Guild Wars nonsense. I don't know if I will be sleeping much the night before next. Oh no, I will not be sleeping the night before. Well, I will be because I've got freaking work at half nine. No, at ten in the morning. Um, but I probably will be staying up as late as I can. And I really want to find out a friggin' time that we will be getting the update as well. It's It's killing me at the moment. I don't finish work until half six on the 24th. And I'm going to have to try and not look at my phone because I want next to be a surprise for me. Um, yeah, what do you mean? Uh, the whole Guild Wars nonsense, uh, Sam. Is this to do with No Man's Sky or something else? Call off. I think you mean call off. Uh, call off work. Um, funny enough, <laughs> it's actually my last day uh, in my current job on the twenty fourth. Um, so I may end up suddenly becoming extremely ill on that day and not turning up, which would be such a shame. But you know, hey ho. Um. Am I the only one having issues with Discord right now? Uh, what issues are you having, mate? And I'll let you know. Um, I don't seem to be having many issues with it at the moment. So is it the mon- Oh crap, it's on the Monday that you've got, um... You're doing that. Hopefully I'll have finished work when you're doing that permadeath. I don't know whether I'll be joining in. Um, I might very well do, it sounds interesting. Um, well, I'd love to stream it nonetheless, like. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll finish work by then. Nothing to do with No Man's Sky. A dev lashed out at a known community of Guild Wars for giving advice. Um, she's played the gender card, gender card, known community man. Known community. Why have they lashed out at a community member for giving by like, giving advice? That's, that's uh, I don't get it. That's the whole point of having communities in games, so you can help each other out and shit like that, man. So I don't get what's so bad about. Better given advice. Or was it given advice for something bad? Um, chats are not loading. Uh, what do you mean by chats are not loading? Like um, your uh, your direct message chats, or just any chat in general, isn't loading? Because uh, I think I have had that issue before on my phone. Um, I've gone into a chat and there's been 
there's been nothing there, but it's been the previous comment that I've seen, but I know that there's another comment there. Um, the best thing I'll say is probably try something, um, try messing around with your internet and seeing if your internet connection is alright. Because um, that usually messes with my Discord quite a bit, to be fair. Glassy Planet? I have never seen Glassy Planet come up. I know what it's going to be. I've never seen a planet before that. Intriguing. You should, man, even if you jump on a stream when you get home, better late than never. We want every single No Man's Sky streamer going all at the same time. No Man's Sky Overload on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Mixer. Mate, honestly, um, as soon as I get home on Monday, I will come home, I'll sort out my shit, and I will... Because you're doing it in creative, aren't you? So it means that I... Um, I don't have to worry about friggin' being in the right galaxy or anything. But yeah, I'll definitely jump on and I'll come to where you are and I'll, I'll do the very least of streaming even if I don't participate. Um, so I'd love to see it going on and I'd love to see all the other... Um, oh, this was not the planet I was expecting to see. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see all of the... all the different people there and whatnot. It'll be an awesome event, man. I can't wait for it. Oh, streaming a new permadeath save, save. Okay. So how are you all going to get to... Because you're not all going to have the glyphs if it's a new save. So how are you all planning on getting to the same... The same, whatchamacallit. Um, the same planet. Then it created a whole kerfuffle, which ended up getting that dev fired. Thank God. Thank God. Damn, the sounds of it. Yeah, but the sounds of it, uh, that is for the best, to be honest. Okay, there's not going to be anything here for me. Uh, and we aren't going to the same spot. Oh, right, okay. You'll um, uh, be competing on who can get to the most out of the stations in two hours, all on new saves. Oh, right, okay. So that's going to be a case of getting warp cell materials and whatnot, and then uh, actually trying your best to find the um, out of the stations. Uh, yeah, that'll be pretty cool, man. But yeah, I'll definitely come along and stream. And then. Um, like, are you uh, are you all doing like a joint a joint stream or something? Are you all going to be jumping in the same chat or like everything's like that working? Uh, I'm using it on my phone and when I get notifications, but when I open it, the app is just stuck on connecting. Yeah, but by the sounds of it, that's your um, that's your your internet connection, mate. It happens to me all the time. Um, your best bet is trying to either find Wi-Fi to connect to or um, checking if you've actually got any data left on your phone or whatnot. Other than that, I don't, I don't really know, but I wish I could tell you more. Um, then a few news outlets made her look like a victim and the guys who criticised her were branded misogynist for doing so despite her being a complete cyber bully on Twitter. Oh man, she sounds like a friggin' complete dick anyway. Not honestly. Get Nip Gang YouTube will be streaming all of the streams together on one screen, same way we do with the cage matches, but with lots of screens. All oh, right. Yeah, man, that'd be freaking awesome. I'll, uh, I'll definitely make it. 
I'll definitely come along then and uh, like at least watch. Sounds really interesting. I love how people are already creating uh, multiplayer events, even though we don't have proper multiplayer. I was just can't wait to see what we're actually going to be able to do with multiplayer. Seeing that you got like, you guys and Cobalt and all these different things building up, we don't even have proper multiplayer yet. Let's think of what we'll be able to do with multiplayer. and limited data. Oh, right. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know. Try like fully closing down the Discord app on your um, on your phone and that, like properly closing it all down. And yeah. Other than that, I don't really know. Terrence, man, I wish I could help you more. I'm quite new to Discord myself. I've not really done much with it myself, so I can't help you there. Sorry, bud. Anyway, what's going on infinite? Uh, nothing much to be fair, I'm just chilling and uh, roaming around Galaxy number 23. I um, I decided to give up on trying to get back to Euclid. Well, not so much give up, but rather than rush through all of the galaxies, I'm going to take my time and chill out and relax in all the different galaxies and go and explore them a bit and see if I can, you know, see anything for myself that's cool or, you know, not been seen before or amazing. I just feel like the way I was doing it before, I'm rushing through all these galaxies that have been built for us to enjoy and wonder through. It looks like it has nothing here. Let's find a random spot to land up. For pixels, it's back to strike again. I see you there, Beacon. You can't hide from me. Uh, welcome back, Alpha. Oh my god, self igniting storms, defensive sentinels. Oh shit. Definitely, man. I'm all down for um, trying to promote promote anybody's anybody's content and stuff. I just love how you've got all these different communities that have all came together and all have different ideas on, you know, like the way different ways of playing No Man's Sky. But you got people who do what I'm doing now, they just roam around, they chill, relax. You got people who do the permadeath cage matches, which is friggin' awesome. You've got this new uh, perma showdown. You got people who play permadeath religiously. Uh, yeah, I think it's amazing. You got Person Bot or uh, Terence with the. Uh, Oh God, with the um, with the cobalt group trying to actually, you know, create a, a sort of trading economy with resources and whatnot. It's awesome, man. I love it. Uh, install fiber optic. 
Installed fibre optic cables, they help us improve internet speeds, don't know too much about how they work, but yeah, they're one of the best ways of improving internet connection. Uh, yeah, they are indeed. We've, uh, we've not long had uh, fibre optic where I live. Um, and it does help a hell of a lot. Mm. Oh, I'm getting really tired now. Alright, cheers. Happily rewards me. Friggin' 892 units. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? God oh, damn it. Ooh. Hello. See, don't you think it'd be cool with next if, um, if instead of walking into, like, here and seeing that exosuit uh, upgrade station, you actually see an exosuit inside of her that you can then trade up or like a part of an exosuit so you see like a helmet in there or something I think that would be friggin sweet I'd love to see that man Currently can't hear the stream. I'm on a phone call. I'm here in spirit though. <laughs> oh, there we are then. What a dedicated man, eh? On a phone call and he's still got his priorities right. Uh, my Discord is working again. Awesome, man. Awesome. Ooh, bloody drop pod as well. Zinc and more zinc. Mm. Unpopular opinion, but I think certain things should be less convenient. <coughs> we got our first Xbox player today. Oh, that's awesome, Terrence, man. That's freaking sweet, man. Have you, uh, have you set up an Xbox uh, community yet? Um, and back to you, uh, Sandhai. I don't know. I I agree with you. I think sh things should be less uh, less convenient. Totally, man. And I think the way that you upgrade your uh, Exo suit at the moment, like how I just did then with the drop pod and whatnot, it's way too easy, and I don't like it. One bit. I would much rather have like. Uh, it's annoying because it's like typical MMOs, but I'd rather have like a chest plate that I can equip and it gives me plus five to inventory and plus two to, um, I don't know, like uh, defense or health and, you know, things like that. I think that, um, so you can sort of create, you make your character and your class a bit more like unique to you, not just the same as everybody else, if you get what I mean. Like. I seriously cannot see anything. Right. Oh my freaking god! Ow. Ah. Fuck. Literally cannot see anything around here. Oh wow, that sky is blue.
Yeah, exactly. We uh, exactly more challenges. Yeah, man. Like, I don't think. I think at the moment, a lot of the things in the game they're just sort of handed to you, and I don't like that. I don't want a game that's going to hold my hand. That's what creative mode's for. And plus, creative mode, you've got everything. Normal mode, things should be a bit harder to get. And then, you know, survival, permadeath, they should be even harder to get. Bring a bit of difficulty to the game. Uh, not yet, right now we have PC and PS4 division. Depending on how multiplayer works, we could have a Xbox division. Yeah, man, that'd be freaking awesome. Um, I see that uh, Red's actually, uh, is he one of the leaders for the PS4 divisions? Um, I get on with Red so well, man. He usually comes on to our, uh, onto our Sunday night, uh, Sunday day show, a VVR show, um, and I love having him on to chat with him, man. He, such a good laugh. He's the same bloke, to be fair. Alright, head back to my freighter. Or not head back to my face. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. I do apologise, guys, but I probably will be ending the stream in a minute when I uh, when I get to my freighter. Um, I'm a bit hot and bothered and extremely tired. A long day at work. Yeah, Red Subset 83 is leading the PS4 division. Yeah, man, that's freaking awesome, that is. Oh, I will admit. Um, he was our first PS4 only player. Oh, right, I didn't know he was a uh, PS4 only. I, I could have swore he had it on PC. No, that's awesome, man. He's a, he's a good, good lad and a good laugh, Red is. Got on with him really well. It's a shame that we had to move. I do apologise. It's a shame that we had to move um, this week's or uh, last Sunday's show to Monday, because it meant that Red wasn't able to come on because he was in work, which was a real shame. Oh god. Yeah, man, it's always awesome having him on chat. Always a good laugh, man. Uh, nothing brand would be a better term. Division sounds like the company is divided. Same difference. <laughs> uh, you got told, Alpha, and you got told. Ah, oh, do you know what's really annoying? I don't know if that's just um I also would have like a gold trim around it, which probably would have been really nice. I don't know if this one is or if it's silver. I'm told if it's just a light or not. Yeah, I'll take you for a scroll through all of my uh my exotic. That is the very first exotic that I got. Um, I really hope they fix the freighters because at the moment the uh, the goddamn fin sticks with the freaking roof. Does my head in. Um, and then I ended up getting uh, uh, this little, little pea pod. Little bean. Um, they really do remind me of uh, Angry Birds. I don't know why, but they really do. And you saw my uh, little blue pelican that I found earlier. And then yeah, of course I have my awesome, awesome squishy. I just love the look of those ships, man. They look awesome, and I love the tiger patterns on the top. But freaking class. Oh, it's the beauty of a ship. And then uh, <coughs> that's my um, my rare hauler, which I haven't actually came across. Oh, I've I think I've came across another one of those with the uh, glowing blue orbs. Um, 
yeah, I think they look awesome as well. Um, division sounds cooler. Yeah, okay. I will pick the divisions off the tree. You have some expensive tastes. <laughs> I, I, they're, they're actually not expensive tastes if you mean all my exotics because they cost fuck all compared to anything else. I think uh, my hauler here cost me 60 million. Whereas these exotics cost me between 16 to 20 million. <laughs> really not much. I just like flashy ships. Makes me feel happy. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. I will be calling this um, an end of my stream, guys. Unfortunately, the infinite loop is now ending. Not so infinite after all, hey? Yeah, man, uh, once again, I just want to shout out to all you awesome guys out there. And you're all amazing, and I love having you along with me every time, man. It's it's awesome, just chatting about random shit. I love it, really do. But yeah, man, thank you so much for coming along and, you know, dropping that like, subbing, all that malarkey. Yeah, I appreciate it each and every time. And uh, thank you so much, and... Hopefully I'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys.